in this video i'm going to introduce one more ai chatbot that is clad.ai for reaching this first we have to go to the google interface there we have to type clad c l a u d clad dot ai then after that we have to press the enter button the keyboard and once you enter it it goes to the the search results of google there we can find the first one that's called clad.ai then once you click it here it goes the home page of the clad.ai website this is interface uh, this is an anthropic and talk to clad and uh, it asking to continue with the email or continue with google and you can see the other option cloud for business construction ai like this they given some kind of description about the store as a first time user you have to click the continue with google or continue with email but now i'm going to click continue with google when you click continue with google it asking to select your mail id then you can select this mail id so after selecting this it goes to the the home page of the cladi.ai so it move to the my uh, interface uh, for the first time user you may be get some kind of sms uh, when you give this your mobile number you may get some kind of sms like a key you have to type the key then only you may reach this site interface Yes, see here, this is a it's very simple user interface also. And uh, welcome back, Tiago, because I already given you my name. Suppose you want to do the editing of your account details, we have to press the, the right corner. We have to option for account setting. We have to modify the profile and all. And here, there is no left, there is no option. That in the right also, there is no options other than this profile. Uh, in this start, your first message to CLAT, we have to type this prompting here. And similarly, when select to click enter here the option called start a new chat here i'm asking the questions how can we integrate mobile learning in the higher education classroom so this is a prompting i want to ask to cladi.ai then after this we have to press enter or we have to press this error mark i'm just clicking this error mark when you click this error mark now the cladi.ai is giving this responses I can see the response how it's providing so very user friendly platform it won't create a lot of any confusion in this now i get a wonderful responses from the case of clarity.ia and they're given some kind of short format suppose if you want to use some kind of shortcut key they're using it's called shift plus uh, backspace or command key so i'm using a apple laptop that's the reason it's showing this command key for the windows user it gives us different options Suppose you want to copy this response, click this copy. So we have to copy, then copy the clipboard and we can paste it anywhere. Suppose you like to retry the same response, like the other draft of response you want, you can press the retry. So when I click the retry, I get the other responses. So it's generating new responses. So like this, you may get a response also. And if you like to click here, you can see this rename of the file. Or if you want to delete it, you can delete it. This and options are available and one more options are available in the left corner open a menu if you click this menu you may get some kind of menus like today what are the things we did find and here we can get some of the examples how to summarize this pdf even we can upload this pdf as as possible because there is an option called upload and it asking add file 5 maximum and 10 mb, MB each uh, in the case of free version they're providing so it may be access the pdf file and txt and csv even the etc the good advantage after uploading file we can ask the any kind of prompting in this so this way this tool is to be uh, useful to all of all the users hope this videos might be useful for all of you thank you all we meet in the next video bye